Hey there, fellow adventurers. Welcome back to another episode of our travel tales. Have you heard about the traffic jam heading to Vellum? It's been the talk of the town lately. It's a real humdinger. Seems like everyone decided to visit this charming town at the same time. The roads are packed, and the drivers are not too happy about it. The annual Vellum Veggie Fest is in full swing, and let me tell you, folks are flocking to it like bees to honey. This festival is a big deal, with people coming from all over to enjoy the festivities. Now, I love a good festival as much as the next person. The food, the music, the atmosphere, it's all so exciting. But being stuck in a sea of cars? Not my idea of a good time. It's frustrating to be so close to the fun yet so far away. Imagine bumper to bumper traffic, horns honking, and the sweet smell of veggie burgers wafting through the air taunting you. It's like a cruel joke. Travelers are feeling the heat, literally. The summer sun is blazing and the air conditioning in the cars can only do so much. Long waits, missed connections, and vacation vibes deflating faster than a punctured tire. It's a recipe for frustration. We've got to find a way to ease this congestion and get everyone moving again. Maybe some innovative traffic solutions or better planning for next year's festival? Have you ever been stuck in a traffic jam on your way to a fun event? It's a common experience, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. I'd love to hear about it. Share your stories with us, the good, the bad, and the downright frustrating. Let's commiserate together and maybe even find some humor in these sticky situations. So, why is the traffic so bad, you ask? It's a question on everyone's mind as they sit in their cars, inching forward at a snail's pace. Well, it's a perfect storm of factors, my friends, a confluence of events and circumstances that have all come together to create this gridlock. First, you've got the Veggie Fest, drawing crowds from all over. This annual event is a huge attraction, bringing in thousands of visitors who are eager to enjoy the festivities. Then, add in some road construction just outside of town. The timing couldn't be worse, as these projects are essential but unfortunately coincide with the festival. They say it's to improve things in the long run, but right now, it's adding to the chaos. The detours and lane closures are causing significant delays. And let's not forget the good old-fashioned human factor increased car travel during peak seasons. People are out and about, taking advantage of the good weather and the various events happening around town. It's a classic case of supply and demand, folks. More cars on the road than the infrastructure can handle. The roads can only handle so much traffic. And right now, they're bursting at the seams. The congestion is palpable, with cars barely moving and tempers flaring. We need to find a way to address these issues and prevent this from happening again next year. City planners are already brainstorming solutions, but it's a complex problem that requires a multifaceted approach. What do you think is the biggest contributor to the Vellum traffic jam? Is it the festival, the construction, or the sheer volume of cars? It's a combination of several factors, really. Each element on its own might be manageable, but together they create a perfect storm. The festival itself is a major draw, bringing in people from near and far. The influx of visitors is great for local businesses, but tough on the roads. But the ongoing road construction is a significant contributor as well. The necessary improvements are causing temporary pain for long-term gain. And of course, the increased car travel during peak seasons just adds to the congestion. People are eager to get out and enjoy the season, but it means more cars on the road. We need a comprehensive plan to manage these issues better. This includes better timing of construction projects, improved traffic flow strategies, and perhaps even encouraging alternative modes of transportation. Only then can we hope to alleviate the traffic woes that have plagued Vellum this year. Now let's talk about the impact on travelers. Imagine this. You've been planning your dream vacation to Vellum for months. You've got your bags packed, your itinerary set, and you're ready to relax and enjoy. But then bam, traffic jam. Hours tick by, and you're still miles away from your destination. Your dinner reservations? Gone. Your chance to catch the sunset over Vellum Valley? Missed it. It's not just about the inconvenience. It's about the missed opportunities, the frustration, and the feeling of helplessness. Plus, who wants to start their vacation stressed out and exhausted? Not me. Have you ever had a trip ruined by unexpected travel delays? Tell me about it in the comments. Oh, absolutely. I remember one time we were on our way to a festival just like the Veggie Fest and we got stuck in traffic for hours. By the time we arrived, we had missed half the events we wanted to see. It's really frustrating and can put a damper on the whole trip. 
And it's not just about missing out on events or reservations. Sometimes these delays can lead to even bigger issues. Imagine missing a connecting flight because of a traffic jam. Now, you're not just late, you're stranded. The stress of trying to rebook flights, find accommodations, and rearrange plans can be overwhelming. And let's not forget the financial impact. Extra costs for last-minute bookings can add up quickly. Suddenly, your budget-friendly trip is costing you a fortune. And sometimes it's not just traffic. Weather conditions, road closures, and other unforeseen events can all contribute to delays. It's always a good idea to check for any potential issues before you hit the road. Share your best tips for avoiding travel delays in the comments below. Let's help each other out. Because at the end of the day, we all just want to enjoy our trips without any hiccups. So plan ahead, stay informed, and hopefully your next trip will be smooth sailing. Safe travels, everyone. Don't despair, my friends. While we can't magically erase the traffic, we can certainly try to outsmart it. Here are a few tips for navigating the Vellum traffic jam. 1. Timing is everything. Avoid traveling during peak hours if possible. Early mornings or late evenings are your best bet. 2. Embrace technology. Use navigation apps like Waze or Google Maps to get real-time traffic updates and find alternative routes. 3. Pack your patience. Let's face it, some delays are inevitable. Bring along snacks, water, and some good music or audiobooks to keep your spirits up. Remember, a little planning and a positive attitude can go a long way in surviving any traffic jam. Do you have any tried and true tips for dealing with traffic? Share them in the comments. Section 5. Sharing is caring your vellum traffic tales. We've all been there, stuck in traffic watching the minutes tick by. So tell me, have you experienced the vellum traffic jam firsthand? Share your stories, your frustrations, and your tips for survival in the comments below. Your experiences can help others navigate this sticky situation. Section 6. Fueling Frustration, The Price of a Standstill Okay, let's talk about another downside to this whole traffic thing. Gas prices. They're already sky high and sitting in traffic just makes it worse. It's like watching your money go up in exhaust fumes. And it's not just the fuel itself. It's the wear and tear on your car. All that idling and stop and go can't be good for your engine. It's enough to make you want to trade your car for a bicycle. Have you noticed a difference in your gas mileage after being stuck in traffic? I know I have. Section 7. Patience, please keeping your cool in the chaos. Now I know it can be frustrating being stuck in traffic, but let's all try to keep our cool, okay? Road rage won't get us anywhere fast. In fact, it just makes a bad situation worse. Take a deep breath, put on some calming music, and remember that everyone else is in the same boat. We're all just trying to get where we need to go. Let's spread some kindness, not road rage, okay? What are your go-to tips for staying calm in stressful situations? Share them below. Section 8. The Tech Touch Navigation Apps to the Rescue. Thank goodness for technology, right? I mean, can you imagine trying to navigate this traffic mess without a GPS? I shudder to think. Navigation apps like Waze and Google Maps are lifesavers in situations like this. They can give you real-time traffic updates, suggest alternate routes, and even estimate your arrival time. Just remember, even the best technology can't predict everything. So it's always a good idea to have a backup plan and a whole lot of patience. What's your favorite navigation app and why? Let me know. Section 9, Beyond the Backup Exploring Alternative Routes. Who says you have to follow the crowd? Sometimes the best way to avoid traffic is to take the scenic route. Now I'm not talking about driving through fields or anything, but there might be some back roads or side streets that can shave some time off your trip. Just make sure you're comfortable with the route and that it's safe. And hey, you might even discover a hidden gem along the way. Have you ever stumbled upon something amazing by taking the road less traveled? Tell me about it. Section 10, Vellum Traffic, a collective challenge. You know what they say? It takes a village. And when it comes to solving the Vellum Traffic Jam, we need everyone to pitch in. Local authorities, businesses, and visitors all have a role to play. We need to improve infrastructure, promote alternative modes of transportation, and encourage responsible travel planning. Together, we can find solutions and make sure everyone can enjoy the wonders of Vellum without the traffic headaches. What steps do you think would be most effective in addressing the traffic situation in Vellum? 
Section 11. Join the conversation. Share your story. Shape the solution. Don't let your vellum traffic experience go unheard. We want to hear from you. Share your stories, your frustrations, and your suggestions in the comment section below. And hey, we're also conducting a quick survey to gather more insights. Your participation can help us understand the scope of the problem and find real solutions. Together, we can make a difference. Click here to take the Vellum Traffic Survey, link to survey. Thanks for being part of the solution, folks. And remember, keep on smiling, even in traffic.